Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to install Nutscript 1.1 for your server. First, you'll need to get the Nutscript files, so we'll go to github.com slash chestnut slash Nutscript. Then we'll select the 1.1 branch, and in the future the 1.1 branch might not exist as it'll just replace the master branch, and in that case just stay on the master branch, you won't have to change any branches. Now there are two ways of getting Nutscript. The first way is using git, but that's for advanced users and won't be covered in this tutorial. The next method is clicking the download zip, and this will download the Nutscript files as a zip. Next you'll need to get to your server's Gary's mod directory. So if you're using a game server provider, the providers will usually give you the FTP details to log in using an FTP client. In my case, I run a local development server, so I will simply open up my file explorer, and here it is, my server. So you will go to Gary's Mod, then Game Modes, and you'll want to drag the Nutscript 1.1 folder into your Game Modes directory. Since I already have Nutscript installed, I'm going to skip that, but you need to make sure that you rename the folder to Nutscript, just plain Nutscript lowercase. So we'll close this, and next we'll get the HO2RP schema. Since I have that as on my GitHub profile, I'll just simply click on Chestnut again and HO2RP. But if you're using someone else's schema, then this may differ, and usually they'll include on how to install it. So you talk to the author of that schema if you need help. And again, we'll just download it as a zip since I'm not going to cover how to use git. And open up the zip file again. And you'll see HO2RP master. And again, you'll just drag that into your server's game modes folder. And you need to make sure that the folder name matches the text file name here without the .txt. So in this case, it's just HO2RP lowercase. Finally, you'll need to edit your server's command line, so it sets the game mode to the schema, not the framework, but to the schema when it starts up. Now, if you're using a game server provider, they usually have a command line manager that you can see on their control panel, and you'll just use that to edit the command line. In my case, I have it as a batch file, but either way, you should see something that looks similar to this. Now, if you don't have a plus game mode already, just add that to the your command line. And after your plus game mode, you want to have the schema folder's name. So whatever you put right here must match the schema folder's actual folder name. So in this case, we have HO2RP and HO2RP, and they match. Then you save your command line and start up your server, and that's it. If you need additional help, you can join our forums at nutscript.rocks, and then you click on the forums tab, and you can sign up for free. Have a nice day.